squished. Right, so we're here, we're down in Anglesey, and we've got windows, plasterboard in, and quite a few odd jobs, little bits to be doing. So it's not a very nice week. It's quite rainy, miserable, it's cold, wet, windy. I don't know if I said it's quite miserable, it's quite wet. <laughs> you get it. So this week, I think it'll be pretty good. Um, start getting the plasterboard in going uh, in the number two house. So I'll just show you what we've got. So we've got our windows. These are from Trade Windows in Bursco. And done a decent job. So we've got a full car on our way down. Got all the windows covered up under there, all strapped together food and bits for the week and then we've got our uh, seat our window seat um, so luckily we got that down in one piece and it's strapped to the roof but can't tighten it too much because the glass actually started to bend so I don't want it to break but uh, yeah show you the house so we should have windows and doors fitted today and start with the plasterboarding on the inside so just checking out these windows uh they're, they're just the last two that are remaining um so I just took out the gasket at the back i'm taking off this beading trim and then take the glass out i'm going to use the impact chisel to just cut away at the uh, raw plugs holding this frame in and then everything else will just push out So this is one of them jobs where it doesn't seem to be ending so I'm just finishing off little bits. Um, I've just put in this damp proof membrane because it comes around here. This internal on the extension is good because that's got its uh, membrane installed. But with these, because they're solid, uh, I just had to carry it around and do that bit. So I'm going to be drilling, finishing off this, and then that is it for this side of the house. So we're on with fitting windows and I'm just prepping for Dave and what I didn't know is there's two ways of fitting a window um, it's a new one on me but uh, yeah because well I'll take it you take you through it what you can do is you can drill and do your concrete screws so you can drill through the frame into the wall so if you imagine your frame is in situ you'll drill through the frame through the uh, block work and then you'll do a concrete screw straight through bosh there you go um, one of the ideas is because it's stone and because through the previous videos you might not hit <laughs> um mortar you might miss a joint you might miss the stone so what we don't want is when we install the window we don't want so many drill holes going through and it'll look really unsightly so one of the ideas is uh one of the methods i should say um is using this uh it's like a wire uh somewhat of a rebar a mesh i'll find the exact name but um, yeah, so installing this, you just screw it in, you do three on each side and it gives you a bit of play. So over here, we'll have the strip going in and we can do as many drill holes as we need to, to catch that rock and, and secure it. Um, I had a thought and I, and I thought with me taking out the other window, how we would break the 
uh, raw plugs and take the window out, I thought, oh my God, when it comes to next removing that window, not that it will be us, um, they're going to have a real pain getting that out. So they would figure this out with opening the window, uh, obviously seeing that there's no screws attached, and then they'd realise that, yeah, it's tied in with this, uh, this wire bar. So just going to show you one that's fitted. So I'm going around prepping all these and these will be tied in. And then Dave's on with fitting these. And this is what it somewhat looks like. So it's all tied in. So Dave's fitted these window frames and one of my jobs is fitting the glass. So a few tools and things that I'm using. Um, so we're just taking off this outer beading and I didn't know there was a wrong and a right way to put this beading in. Um, so just taking this off. Um, what I'm doing is taking these side pieces off, put the glass in, uh, and believe it or not, there's a right and a wrong way of putting the glass in as well. So on the stickers that came, it was like um, H1, house one, upper front window, and they were all labeled up, they were really easy. So on that sticker, uh, it just said, you know, the sticker side is facing outwards. It must be something to do with the UV. But yeah, um, what I'm doing is taking off this trim, putting the glass in, and then I'm putting the bottom pieces on first and then the side pieces. Um, it might be a given, it might be obvious for most, but these side pieces are more easily to bend to get them in. Uh, it kind of makes sense. So that's what we're on with. So on a windy day, um, it's quite nice to get these in because it's blowing a gale straight through and the noise, the noise has been reduced quite significantly. So, um, I'd say one of my tips that I somewhat come up with is when you put in a piece of glass in, um, any excess dust or anything like that uh, from fitting, you just see, you, you kind of see it on the inside. And when you put the pane of glass in, um, yeah, you don't really notice. So on one of the others, I had to take the glass back out just because it trapped a bit of dust in on the inside. But uh, yeah, there we have it. One window fully fitted. And same with the back. So more chaos. We've uh, just removed the front door. And if I remember like last time, um, just had to chase this mortar with the impact chisel um, just off and around uh, hopefully it will go just underneath but if not um, we'll get the grinder out day two um, got quite a bit done yesterday. I'm just going to show you what it looks like from the front. So windows and doors in situ. Dave's just took this one off as it wasn't quite, you know, sitting quite right, uh, quite drafty. So that'll be sorted. And then just on with these plaster boards. So carrying up um, the insulated and just the normal 
plasterboard so every one of these is going to go on the exterior walls and then these will be on the roof and interior So I thought it was quite cold last night and uh, Snowdonia living up to its name. Amazing views. So I've been and picked up a few bits. Um, I think the universe is trying to tell me that I really need a van. Uh, <laughs> one day I will kill this car. So we've got half a pallet of block. Insulation. So it's the first fuck up in a while and uh, I'm not apologizing for the swearing because I'm really annoyed. Um, so it's my mistake. And what we needed was soundproofing for the partition walls that goes in between the stud work um, and in between the joists of both floors. So I thought it was wrong. I thought it was a bit expensive when I bloody ordered it. So we've got these, an over-order. Um, it's really good for insulating this PIR stuff, this Kingspan, but it's no good for soundproofing, so it won't be wasted, um, but I'm going to have to use that on the roof. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to go back. The, the thing that's really annoying is it's like an hour out of your way. You know, it's a round trip. Uh, by the time you're there, you're 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. 10 minutes faffing about while you're there and um, I just thought I'll take five have a breather and uh, you can see that the bottle there because it's been warm in here it's expanded and it's leaked all over my seat so I just had, had to sit down to calm down and uh, I've got a wet arse so that's a, a double whammy so yeah unload this and then back go and pick up the right stuff so i've been and picked up some insulation um they didn't have the rot wool one in stock which i wanted but we've gone for the 50 mil uh, cavity and this is where we're up to Dave's doing a good job plasterboarding, it's not easy, the amount of small cuts, <coughs> really quite intricate. So we boarded one side, insulation in between. starting to take shape. It's the end of the day, uh, day one, and we've come back, and it's somewhat a bit of a full week. It's like 40 hours of the three days last week and today so i thought i'd wrap it up and do a shorter video um i'm just going to show you what i've been up to today so here we've got the plumbing all set um so we've got our hot and cold 
Uh, Dave always says the hot's always on the left. Um, so that's 15 mil. It's all easy push fit stuff. Um, this needs moving over a bit. So there's final bits. Um, we're going to put a stub wall up here. And when that's in, then we'll get it all pinned back. So we've got a hot and cold for the shower, hot and cold for the sink, and then I'm going to carry that on tomorrow. One for the toilet and one for the outside tap. Uh, try and show you up here. Might have to put the torch on the phone. So plasterboarding has all been done. So this is the landing. It's all been boarded out upstairs. Need a good tidy up tomorrow. And if you can see, we've got purlins in here, all these angles, which is uh, not an easy task. So we're going to be getting some quartz for plastering. And up here. And I'll just show you next door. So in here, we've got our first fixed wiring going in. Uh, they've just got the first day in. And then all this will be nicely studded out. And then same again here. If you, uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. If you comment, uh, let us know your feedback on this one and I'll, uh, I'll reply to each one. So that's it for now. It's a wrap and uh, we're going to continue it on in a part two later on in the week.